we need to keep talking to Enu because she's a nice, friendly person. And that's what you do with nice, friendly people, is you keep talking to them. So, what's your story, daughter of... Oh, just Enu. No one calls me daughter of blah blah here. And my story is totally unexciting. <laughs> the opposite of exciting? Boring? Dull? Humdrum. That's the word. I'm a humdrum farm girl. Was. Was a farm girl. And hey, now I'm a rebel. Go figure. Never saw that one coming. Well, that's not entirely true. At least my parents don't totally disapprove. They'd be happier if I stayed put and out of trouble. Married a boring zid farmer, had little boring farm zidlings. But they are proud of me. They believe in the cause. And they totally hate the Azadi. Sorry. You have good reasons for hating us. Yeah, well... I'm not sure I can go back there when this is all over. To the farm, I mean. I like fighting for something. I like having a purpose other than... Farming, being a loyal daughter, a zidling breeder. Clearly. I really wouldn't make a good zidwife. I'd be the worst. I'm sorry, this is way too much information. I was just gonna say hello and then blah, so, um, hello. And hey, good luck out there tonight. Well, oh, I'm gonna be there with you, but anyway, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. You're friendly. All right, now is there any one of you? Are you the once blind I'm told man? Nope. Our baskets okay. are empty, save for that awful oh, flat. Oh, he is probably once a blind, Bob. Breakfast wreaks havoc on morale. We'll need another crate of beer bread he from Harold in Old Town. Have I seen him before? Kian Alvani, soldier, apostle, assassin. Oh, I expected someone taller. Meh. Ah, never you mind. Welcome to the movement for the liberation of Mercurier and the Northlands. Welcome to the bloody resistance. How's your back, eh? The herbs helped. Aye, she knows her stuff, our Zidmari medic. And she was concerned for you. Sat with you until your fever passed. Never left your side. I'd say she was sweet on you. But it wasn't even that. It was like she... like she was paying back a debt. I'm the General, me. I run this place. Hello, General. If you've got a problem with logic sticks, you come to me. Your bunk ain't soft enough or hard enough, the General's your man. Not happy with your rations? Call on the General. Maybe that stuff ain't as important as intercepting communiques or assassinating a zaddy, but this place don't run itself either. Got any questions, soldier? Um, have we met before? I have a feeling I've seen this man before. He wasn't wearing a uniform and he wasn't a general, but his voice and his face. Do I know you from somewhere? Well, I can't imagine you would. Unless you're from around here, and you're clearly not. In my former life, I didn't have much contact with the Azadi outside of bars and card tables. And you don't look like you visit either of them very often. In my new life, I've been mostly stationed here at headquarters. We don't see a lot of Azadi visitors. Perhaps in Mercuria? No, I don't see how we could have met there. You must have me confused with someone else. Carry on, laddie. Oh, and make us proud, damn it. Okay, I'll do that, damn it. Damn it, Janet, Whoever I wins, will. Plays All right, now, who else am I talking to? Am I talking to you? Are you friend? Are you Are you friend? Oh, I'm guessing I'm talking to that guy. Hey there, map man. Am I talking to you? Oh, I am. Hello. Hoy, Alvane Dar. It's an honor seeing your eyes. Dar is an honorific in Azadia, and Hoy a common greeting. He must have had interactions with Azadi, or studied the language and culture. Who taught you the proper Azadi form of address? Oh, I, um, I, I, I did business with you, be, with the Azadi for several years, until my aunt's tavern was shut down and she was arrested. 
and, until I learned what was really happening. You took part in that raid at the Journeyman Inn. Benrim Salmin is my mother's sister. She raised me after my mother died. I, uh, I, I took her surname. I'm Jackai. Jackai Salmin. I was following orders when I arrested his aunt, but that doesn't absolve me of responsibility. Your aunt was harboring rebels. I was under orders to arrest her. I'm sorry for what happened to her. Your aunt is a strong and honorable woman. Oh, I, I don't blame you, Dar. Neither does my aunt. In fact, it was her idea to break you out. She knows you'll be an asset to us. You know, I only joined the resistance less than a year ago. Before that, I was a businessman, and my customers were mostly Azadi. Huh. He obviously wants to tell me his story. I should let him. We're here for story. This is a story game, so yes, encourage the man to keep talking. It was good business. I, uh, I profited from the occupation. I made a lot of money. It shames me to admit it now, but I actually believed in the Azadi. What they were saying made sense. Even, even the things they say about magicals. For a while, I blamed them for everything. I even went so far as to join the National Front for Faith and Family. Do you know who they are? Azadi collaborators. Anti-magical crusaders. Turncoats. I'm not proud of that. This story seems important to him. Yeah, he well, yeah well, he's gonna keep going. But then, when my aunt was detained and sentenced to five years in Cold Stone... Creamery? It, it changed everything. Opened my eyes. I realized it wasn't the Magicals who were at fault. It was the Azadi. It was us. Those of us who didn't speak up or, or take action. Those of us who betrayed our own. He really wants to get this off his chest. I understand. I'll let him finish his I story. mean, we're this deep. Might as well finish it off. I sought out the resistance. And now here I am. With all these brave people. Like... Like Anu. Oh, she's great, isn't she? I'm really impressed with how she... Uh, how she holds up. Boy, the Zid are really striking people. So pretty. Anyway, that's my story. It's quite a story. Isn't it, though? I'm glad to have you with us, Dar. It'll make a huge difference. You have my support. I should be getting ready for tonight. Of course, Alvane Dar. Kian. I'm sorry for going on and on. Good luck out there. You wear pointy shoes like elf people. Also, he's got a thing for um, Anu. Eh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Also, your mom works at an ice cream parlor. Could be where Art works. Imprisoned at an ice cream parlor. I guess that could be kind of like working. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see if we can find the other people we need to talk to. I'm guessing. Oh, so the here we go. Has finally risen. A shame the fever didn't kill you. We'd all be better off. An even greater shame that a good man had to die for you to live. Well, here we go. Let's get e let's get angry man to give us angry story that's supposed to help us have sympathy for his angriness. I'm certain again that I've seen this Dalmari before. No matter the circumstances, I will never. I'm certain again that I've seen this Dalmari before. We have met before, Dalmari. I know it. We have. I wouldn't expect you to remember where. I'm sure it mattered little to you. Just one more blue face amongst the thousands you have murdered. Like you, I'm from the West. From the great continent we call Antiqua Abba. Land of the setting sun. The place your people call Mihadbir. And then Azadir. As though through occupation you came to possess it. You are of the Azad Dolmari tribes. I am of the Dol Antiqua, the Western Dolmari, first of my people. And yes, we have met before, Apostle Alvani. You murdered my father in front of me. 
If it hadn't been for my mother holding me back, I would have torn your throat out. And then neither of us would be here today. We faced each other again years afterwards. But I'm sure you have no memory of that either. After all, what's another filthy magical? You made me who I am today. And someday soon, I will unmake you. But I swore to Shepard that I'd set my private grievances aside. For now, unlike you, I keep my oaths. But if I ever suspect you plan to betray us like you betrayed your own, I will not hesitate. I will kill you. And once this war is over, we'll settle our accounts. You will pay for my father's death, my mother's grief, and my people's suffering. Mark my words, Butcher. Your days are counted. So, Light you're friendly. Gods. So, we killed his dad. And that's why he's super... What's that? Oh. Is that the... Is that the... Is it dinner time to get dinner stuff from dinners? Hey, Shepard. Oh, hey, you moved really fast. I want to watch you guys real quick. Oh, never mind. You're the same guy. Never mind. All right. So, what up, yo? Are you ready, Kian? I am. Good. Liko and Enu are joining you. They will tell you what you need to do tonight. How do they expect me to enter the city and not be recognized, even at night? If any Azadi sees me, they'll sound the alarm in an instant. How do you expect me to walk around unseen? Any Azadi will recognize me in an instant. Of course. That's why our Zidmari sorceress made this especially for you. Magic. There's no escaping it here. If you want to help us, I'm afraid you must drink it. A Bakshivan masking potion? Not quite, but a good guess. A masking potion would last for less than an hour. This is an Erhardian veil. It remains potent for days. It... it makes all but the trained eye slide off you. Unless I speak to anyone, the guards won't even notice me. I'll be like a shadow to them. It's a very potent and very costly magic. Not easy to come by. You know your potions. When I trained to become an apostle, I was required to learn magic. Know your enemy. I'm sure that will serve you well. Drink it before you step ashore, and the veil will conceal you. But be cautious still. Don't speak to any Azadi guards or sympathizers. Don't attract attention. And remember that those who know you intimately can always see through the veil. Liko and Enu are waiting for you down the stairs in the hidden harbor. But you can't go into Mercuria looking like that. You'll need to get dressed. I've left some clothes on your bed. I trust they will fit you well. Maybe? I don't know. I guess we'll have to go look. And I'm gonna have some new duds. I'm gonna get dressed and be like, look at me, I'm flashy. What do you think you're of your building? The are you looking for anything? Your room is right down the hall. Good luck later tonight, Apostle. Uh, Alvani. Uh, Kia. Thank Sir. you. Uh, uh, what do we call you? Uh... Guy, it's fine. Hey, guy. Well, this is some new clothes. They've left fresh clothes out for me. Question is, will they fit? The answer is probably. Probably. Oh, good. We're assassiny creedy. If we keep losing people without winning any ground against the Azadi, I mean, what's the fucking point? Oh, we didn't see you there. I hope your mission tonight is a success. Thank you. You're going on a mission already? Some people have all the luck. You know, there's someone around the corner that looks almost exactly like you. Coinky dink. Maybe. So we need to go down the stairs, which were over here. And go to the hidden harbor. Which I'm guessing is... Best of luck on your mission. You couldn't ask for better companions than Liko and Eno. Well, I mean, one of them's really cool and one of them wants to kill me. 
Let's see which one which one has the upper hand. I'm guessing we're probably going to die. Die a very deathy death. You know. Alright. Did you get seasick? What? Oh, I just want to know if you're going to get all pukey on us, that's all. I have been on a boat before. Good. Then I don't mind sitting next to you. We've wasted enough time. We need to leave. I'll tell you about the mission once we're on our way. After you, Kian. Alright, let's get on the boat. We're on a boat. A rowboat. Because we're not rich. Sadness. You gonna load game? There we go. We need to split up. There's much to do, and we don't want to arouse suspicion. Maybe some instructions first? I'm hoping your memory is better than the Zid's apostle. Uh... There's a traitor in their midst. I need to identify this person before he or she can cause more harm. I'm supposed to visit someone called The Mole. A code name. This powerful man runs the criminal underworld in Old Town. There's a traitor in... I'll be looking for a turncoat in Old Town. Right. Unfortunately, that's all we know. Someone in Old Town spying for the Azadi. He... Or she. <sighs> probably frequents the magic ghetto, but he and she must be human, or they could not be working with the Azadi. We also believe they attend National Front meetings. National Fronters are traitors, Azadi collaborators. Their leader, Honor Hillaris, holds regular secret meetings somewhere in the city. That's probably our best chance of identifying the traitor. Sneak into one of those meetings and identify our guy. Girl, uh, woman, person? Person. I'll begin my investigations in the market. I'm supposed to visit. Where can I find this man they call the Mole? Oh, it's not the a... The Mole's burrow is right here in Shady Quay, Kian. Ah, right. Yes, Kian, you will find the Mole close by. He is close by this, this man who is called the Mole. Who is a human man, obviously. Mm -hmm. God save us from zidlings and their lack of subtleties. The Mole operates an underground supply network out of the Magic Ghetto. We need food, medicine, and arms. And so we need to maintain, uh, good relations. Whatever the Mole asks of you, do it. Without questions. It's time to get started. Well, I guess it's time to get started, then. I'm ready. You're on your own now. Anu and I have other assignments tonight. Once you've identified the turncoat, I'll meet you in the magic market. It's not far from here. Follow this street into Old Town. Afterwards, we'll meet up at the Cock and Puss. The Rooster and King. <laughs> it's a tavern <laughs> on I Reed Avenue, right off the <laughs> Southgate Market. Ulvik, the publican, is a friend of the Resistance. I'm sure it's all very confusing right now, Kiam, but there are maps everywhere. You can't get lost. Well, you can probably get lost. Are you going to get lost? I'll find my way, Anu. Right, good luck, big guy. Guys, both of you... Uh... You and you... Goddess, forgive me for this. Mm. Hmm. That tastes pretty good, to be honest. Blah! Unless I make myself noticed, or meet someone who knows me well, I'll remain veiled. But I don't get to see what you look like, I just... That's it. You just look like you, but you, she could have given you water. I need visual representation. Or not. Well, we need to go find the mole and then go find the person who's a mole in our organization now. I'm, I am, I am deep, deep in. So when we come back, we will get started on our new mission. Hopefully we don't, first thing we, we do is run into somebody we know. Hopefully not. Who knows? We probably will. Till then, y'all take care. Of course, have a good one.